The Pro Day circuit continues with the NFL draft a little more than a month away. Our guys Ryan Wilson and Rick Spielman are in Tuscaloosa for a front row seat to Alabama's Pro Day. And of course, QB Bryce Young at the center of attention there. Potential number one pick Young making his case and throwing at Bama's Pro Day after skipping passing drills at the Combine. Here's more from the former Heisman Trophy winner on his Pro Day performance. Okay, Bryce Young uh, did not work out at the Combine. You said you were going to put everything here at the Pro Day, and I thought you had a phenomenal workout. How did you feel your workout went? I uh, appreciate that. Um, you know, I'm, 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 I was just super happy to be able to, um, you know, show what I could do in front of all the people who, who took the time to, to come out, which I'm extremely grateful for. Um, you know, coming out here and throwing my guys again, uh, especially in this building, is, is is always a lot of fun. Um, and this is a, a day that I've, you know, I've always dreamed of. I've always looked forward to having a pro day and for it to all come into fruition. And it's really special for me. Um, as you're going through this draft process, you have a lot of meetings. Um, do you have any? You don't have to name the teams, but do you have any private workouts coming up? Uh, yeah, we're we're working out the logistics of some some private workouts. We're figuring out which teams and finalizing when um, it's going to happen. But we're kind of in that process right now. And why do you think you should be the first person off, first player off the board this year? Um, to be honest, that's not something I can control. Um, for me, I focus on what I can control, trying to do everything I can to improve in this off season, in this short period of a, a short span of time, um, to to put my best foot forward and present myself in the best light that I can to all the teams that take the time to talk to me. And you know, I can't really control when, uh, or, you know, where I'm picked and. Um, I've accepted that. So for me, I do everything I can to, to control what I can control, put my best foot forward, and whatever team that does you know, take a chance and, and does draft me, um, I'll be super grateful for that. Prefer Carolina or Houston? Which one are you going to? <laughs> I, that's out of my control again. I'm, I, I'd be happy, be happy wherever, and I know God's going to put me in the right place for me. All right. Bryce Young, thank you. I appreciate it. Rick Spielman asking the tough questions there to Bryce Young on his pro day at Alabama. Our current CBS Sports Draft rankings have Bryce Young as the top-rated quarterback prospect. You can see the list here. He's followed by C.J. Stroud, Will Levis, Anthony Richardson, and Hendon Hooker. Bryce Young, out of all five of these guys, the only guy under six foot. And we have Ryan Wilson, Rick Spielman joining us from Tuscaloosa. Guys, you have a front row seat to Bama's Pro Day there. You see Bryce Young showing off his arm at Bama's Pro Day. He didn't throw at the Combine where you guys were as well. And, of course, the major conversation about him is his size. Based on what you saw and his skills, is the size a concern for you? What did you think of his Pro Day performance overall? Um. His size is his size, and Bryce has sort of talked about that. And I say that as someone who is probably 5'10 and an eighth as well. So si it is, you can't <laughs> yeah, do <anything> <laughs> I don't know if you're 5'10 and an eighth. Uh, well, let's see about that, Rick. <laughs> but here's the thing, and we talked about this. C.J. Stroud had his pro day yesterday. He did extremely well. Bryce had his today, and you talked to him about this. He put all his eggs in the basket, and the basket was, it was a pretty heavy burden, and he showed up and balled out. Yeah, there's never a question in my mind on everything that he's been through. Every time he's on the big stage, he seems to perform, and it was no different today. And it's great for us to go out. Yesterday we saw C.J. Stroud. Today we saw Bryce Young. When you compare back-to-back -back right. workouts, we thought Bryce Young went just a hair better today when you watch him uh, throw here live at the Pro Day. And Ryan, what about you? Um, you know, obviously you mentioned you were in Columbus for Ohio State's Pro Day and you saw Stroud, you saw Bryce Young there. I know Rick just kind of went into his Pro Day comparison, but give us yours between the two guys. Yeah, CJ had a great day in Columbus, and there's no doubt about it. And uh, CJ layered the ball well to all three levels. We talked about that yesterday on HQ and on the with the first pick podcast. Same situation here with Bryce. And, and Rick, you and I talked about this before we came on air. Bryce's arm is as good as CJ's, and CJ has a really good arm. And you talked about it as well. He can make every throw Bryce can. He can make it on the move, the off platform throws. Showed up all over the tape. He did some of that here today. And I don't know what the reasons for concern would be if you understand that he's going to be 5'10 and forever. Yeah, and if we're talking about him at 6'2", you're talking uh, about a franchise quarterback, right. and there's no question he'd be the number one quarterback off the board. Absolutely. All right, guys, let's talk about some other names, some other positions, especially at the running back position, being there in person. Uh, Rick, what did you guys think of Jameer Gibbs? Oh, Jameer Gibbs. <laughs> he liked him. That's <laughs> it, my favorite running back in the draft class. Oh, I know B. John Robinson will probably go before him. Uh, but when you come to these pro days and you've seen how thickly he is built through his lower 
and through his legs, you can tell that he is an explosive athlete. We saw that today in the workout. You can tell he was extremely quick running routes. He was extremely quick going through the bag drills that they put him through. He can catch the ball. He can do everything that a NFL running back needs to do, and I think he proved that here today. And can do it at a high level. Uh, he compared himself to Christian McCaffrey when you spoke with him at the Combine. That was your comp for him, too, so that made you feel good. But there was an audible gasp when he started going through the bag drills because he was so quick through the footwork drills as well. He didn't run here. Jacqueline, he, he didn't do the long jump and the vertical. He didn't need to do any of those things because he did most of that at the combine. It was impressive there. So he just came out, caught some balls, ran some routes for Bryce Young, and he looked flawless. He had one drop in the flat that you talked about earlier, Rick. But other than that, he, he looked as good as advertised. And, and this is a running back that when you're at these pro days, you want to see him put their foot in the ground mm. and get upfield right after they catch the ball. And he's a guy that can go from zero to 60 miles per hour very fast. Yep. And one of the top safety prospects, Brian Branch. Ryan, in your latest mock draft, you have him going 17th overall to the Steelers. Thoughts on him? Yeah, he's a great football player. And I know he's a great football player because Coach Saban had him playing one of the tough, one of the toughest positions on the on the field, and uh, Coach Saban is known as being something of a, a stickler when it comes to defense. <laughs> and every time the Brian Branch was healthy, he was out there. Now he ran the four five eight at the combine, chose not to run here, which was sort of interesting. Jacqueline uh, had a chance to improve on that, but he went through the drills, and, and Rick he looked as smooth as he does on tape. Yeah, no, and everything that you've seen on tape trans uh, translated to what you've seen on the field here today in his workout. And he's quick to change direction. He had excellent ball skills. The one thing that when you're at the pro day and you want to see these guys that don't have a lot of ball production or interception production during the season, how they track the ball, what their hands look like, and he showed that today that he has excellent ball skills. First round pick despite the 4-5-8, right? Yeah, and, and he plays a lot faster yes. than that. So uh, I commend him for going to the combine, running, participating, competing, everything that in my heart I think is very important, <laughs> and he does all that, and he came out here and put on another show today. Absolutely. Another guy that's most likely going to be a first-round pick, edge rusher Will Anderson. Ryan, in a lot of your mocks, you've had him going top three, top five maybe. He's up there towards the top of really all of them. He did not uh, work out on the field, guys. No, nor did he need to. And the only reason I might have him slipping to five is if there's a run on quarterbacks. He feels like the safest pick in this draft class, in much the same way Aiden Hutchinson was a safe pick and, and Chase Young was a safe pick at the time. He obviously had injuries. Uh, Nick Bosa, you can go down the list, and it feels like he's a guy who is team first. He's a great person off the field. You know that better than I do. And he is going to compete and give you a lot of production off the edge. Yeah, and I respect him because he went to the combine. He was prepared for that job interview, and he did everything there. He did position drills. They worked him out as a linebacker. They worked him out as a defensive end. Um, talking to some teams around the league, they think he can fit in either scheme. Some teams mm -hmm. that are run an odd scheme or a 3-4 uh, think they can stand. he can stand up and be a pass rusher from a two-point. Some of the even front teams that run a 4-3 are going to put his hand in the dirt and let him go get the quarterback. But he did everything he had to do at the combine. I asked him how important it was for him to be here, even though he wasn't going to do anything, because he did everything at the combine to support his teammates. And he went on to say, this is what we're about. This is a brotherhood here at Alabama. And that's what we're here to support. And that's each what other. you want to hear. That's, and that's what you want to hear. <laughs> Brian Wilson, Rick Spielman joining us from Bama's Pro Day. You guys are really busy. You're on that Pro Day tour, so we appreciate your time. Good stuff as always. And of course, you can hear Rick and Ryan on their podcast with the first pick. They're taking their pod on the road for the Pro Day tour. In the latest episode, they're breaking everything that they saw from Ohio State's Pro Day. Of course, a Bama episode to come. You can download and listen wherever you get your podcast or make it easy. Scan that QR code on your screen. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.